You look familiar. Hmm. I don't, I don't know. It's been a long time, but, uh, I'll wait till everybody gets in. Hey, Adam. <laughs> no, Adam, not welcome to Chili's. It is too early for that today, okay? Enough with the vines. Vine is dead. Hey, Kendra. Have a seat. Everybody's coming in. I'll just get my notebook. What's wrong? Yeah, please sit up front, but uh, what are you what are you looking at? Oh, this notebook. Yeah, I've had it for a very long time. Yeah, there's some odd writing in here. I may or may not have written back then, like, uh, on here, sticker peeling role play. I have 11, 12, 2016. I don't know why. Okay. Hey. Yeah, just go have a seat. It doesn't matter where you sit, okay? Yeah. No, not you, not you. <laughs> You're fine, just... You'll know if I'm being rude to you, which I'm not. Everybody else in this class keeps coming back for some reason. I'm kind of paying them a little bit, but... All in time, you'll see why. Alright, let's do a quick roll call. Dolly. 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 Please, please sit in your seat correctly. Adam? Yeah. Okay, yeah, we know that's your brother. Please just sit down, okay? Fine is dead. Kendra? Beautiful, beautiful hair today. I know, that was the joke. It's covered by a hat. You never let your hair down. I was just trying to compliment you. You don't get it, okay. Milton? Milton. Yeah, please don't um, at me next time, okay? I don't know how you got my social media. Judy? Judy. Lewis. Hey, Lewis. Hey, go ahead and stop fidgeting, bud, okay? Excuse me. Chloe. Chloe. Aww. Hey, try to stop f fixing. Try to stop thinking you're gonna fix those, like, you know, head wounds there. You're not coming back from that, but thank you for being in the class. And then you. Welcome. Welcome to my class. Um, I am doc- I'm, um, excuse me, hold on one second. My brain's a little bit fuzzy. I'm, I'm, I've been moving a lot. Uh, but I hold this class as a art class, drawing class. Um, we do a lot of things here. Basically, we do two things in one in one class. The class lasts about 30 to 40 minutes. Nothing, you know, too long to anything. And I pay- um, everybody in the class, and I'll be eventually paying you as well, because, um, I like to teach art. I'm a very, very known artist around, um, the world, and I actually just came to this area and set up shop here. I had a connection, actually, my friend's aunt. Yeah, she's a little bit crazy, but she's really nice, and I wanted to, uh, you know, have a nice place, so this is kind of like her old apartment near the college that I set up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you can call me, um, uh, I really don't have a name, but everybody just kind of calls me Teach. Teach. Teach, 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 teach. No, okay, all right, well, 
you go ahead and relax, okay? It's early. So, I know the light's not even out yet, like, the sun's not even up. But, so, I did roll call class, and, um, what's your name? Well, nice to meet you. Everybody welcome them, please. A nice, uh, you know, handshake, a hug maybe class, anybody? No? No, I didn't think so. It's okay. They're tired. They, they really don't care. They're here for the money. They need to pay off their college tuition. So, but, uh, yeah, you do look familiar. I just don't know if I've seen you before or not. So you recognize this notebook or you were looking at it and... Okay. I was just wondering. All right, so class, can you grab your sketchbooks? I think one was provided for you. Yeah, yeah, it looks like this. All right, everybody grab your sketchbooks and turn to a blank page. all the pencils. Milton, you're getting the least sharpened one because I noticed your work is so much better lately and I want to see how hard it can be for you. Please, please don't make a pun, Milton. Just take the pencil. Okay, so go ahead and pass these back, please. Just please pass them back. That's enough, Lewis. Just, just pass it back. Don't have to, uh, don't have to look how sharp they are. Alright, and one more. Alright, you have a pencil then? Nice sharp one? You don't want to trade or anything like that? All right, everybody, make sure you turn to a blank page. Today we are going to be doing a very, very known portrait. There's ink all over my portrait book because I tried to do calligraphy a couple weeks ago. Let's see. Yeah, there's just ink spilled on all this. All right, here we go. All right, everybody, I would like to see you sketch, um, let's see, somebody who means a lot to you in life. Yes, it has to be a human. No, it cannot be your cat, your dog, anything like that. I need, um, human body. It doesn't matter what gender, um, what I, whatever anybody identifies as, you know, I would love to see your drawings and just quickly, we'll take about three or four minutes doing an, um, just a regular sketch. Obviously, I'm the best teacher in this, in the class. Um, the pencils I passed out to you are extremely expensive. Please make sure to take care of them. They're from France. So, um, yeah. Oh, please. Please, Judy. The, the first thing you say in this, in this, uh, class is, I'm a scammer. <laughs> really? Well, everybody knows that I'm French, so I'm not a scammer. I'm French. Know your place, okay, Judy? You sit in the corner of the class and you judge everybody all the time and nobody listens. Yeah, you need that tuition money, don't you? So you do have to sit with me. Well, I wouldn't be rude if you weren't rude first. I'm always respectful at first. So if you want paid, draw somebody you love, please, okay? All right, class, go ahead and get started. I'm going to... open a few things here. Okay. Okay. 
my sketches only take like one or two minutes. I'm a brilliant artist. I'm very known in France, actually. Have you ever heard of the name Lydia? Over in France? No, no, not the serial killer. <laughs> I mean, an artist, not a killer. Jeez, come on, man. It's, it's so early. You don't have to be sinister about it. But yeah, tell me about yourself. Everybody's pretty quiet amongst themselves during this class. Like I said, it doesn't last too long. Yeah. That's nice. So where are you from, originally? Really? Wow. Well, don't even do it, Adam. But that's... I mean, that's awesome. So are you going to school, or...? Okay. Yeah, it's pretty nice here. Like I said, I just moved in the area recently. It was up until... Yeah. Okay, keep drawing, class. Yeah. About one more minute. Don't even worry if you can't draw anything. Alright class, everybody, let me see your work. We'll start with uh, Dolly. You're quiet today, Dolly. Let me see. Alright, do a little bit better on your line work. I see the outline of the body is really, really beautiful. I see you did a more thick um, body type and I really like that. I like when people, you know, show all different body types instead of what social media shows, which is completely thin. So kudos on you, Dolly. I'll give that a pass. Alright, next, uh, Adam. No, Adam, completely scratch that off. A potato is not, not even, not even remotely what I asked you to do. So if you don't change that, you're not getting paid for today's class, Kendra. Oh, Kendra, I like that. Mm hmm I like the Talia you did there. It's uh, very artistic and very... It was very upfront, very in your face, so definitely we'll give that a pass 100%. Alright, Milton. The um, Twitter bird, the logo is not something that means a lot to you. I said human, not animal or social media logo, okay? Let's see, Judy. Is that supposed to be me? You drew a horse with my face on it. You're probably one of the best in this class, and that's what you did, was mock me. Okay. Judy, don't come back next time, all right? I heard you got lice last week, and I let you in this class because I'm not judgmental. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, keep looking, Jed. Judgmental, Judy. There we go. Chloe? Oh, 
It's a head with a lot of stab wounds in it. That's okay, Chloe. It'll get better, okay? okay. Lewis? Oh, that is such a beautiful portrait. Who is that? Really? Oh my goodness, kudos to you. That is, that is astounding. I completely give you A+. Plus. And you? Yeah, that's great. That's great. Absolutely. Yeah, A plus for you too. Welcome to our class. You're going to love it here. I really think so. You have a very perfect artistic ability. Um, when I lived in France, uh, we completely... Everybody's like a wannabe artist out there. Oh, my throat is killing me lately. I was the only one who made it out of, um, France, and, uh, you know, these pencils, I actually got these pencils, I know I said they were expensive, but I got them from a museum. Yeah. They're made of probably the rarest wood in the world, which is, like, oak. And there was, like, poison inside this oak, right? Yeah. Completely just not happening. Sorry for the snowplow, everybody. Yeah, people like to bring snow plows on this road that are way too big for the road, so it makes like a larger sound, so it's okay. Money's money, right, class? Yeah, nobody really respects me here. I think that's the first truth that I've told in a long time, isn't it, guys? Your teacher's trying to get better. All right. So, the portrait that I drew... Oh, calm down, 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 calm down. This is somebody who means a lot to me. I'm not going to draw any children that I may or may not have, or any husbands or wives that I may or may not have, so I drew the next best thing that nobody can get to in my life, and that's my kitty. This is my Munchetikin cat. You guys know the, the cat. Let me see. You guys will be able to decipher what kind of animal this is very quickly. I draw very, like, hyper-realistic, you know, drawings. And, um, people really respect that about me. Yeah. Alright, so the type of breed that I own, which is not really a breed, it's really more of a genetic mutation that people, you know, kill a lot of animals to make. And it's sad, it really is. No, really, it's sad. But, um, I didn't know that back then because I would see them on social media and want one of my own. And they call these cats the... of the cat breeds. Class? Anybody? Okay. Nobody? What about you? This is a type of dog. Alright, think about this, everybody. No, Lewis, not a butterfly, I'm sorry. It's actually, I don't know why, you, and nobody knows, I'm, I'm drawing extremely, like, blatant in your face, like, very realistic detailing drawings, like, are you guys serious? <sighs> anyway, it's a dachshund. The cat that I drew is my munchkin cat, and munchkin cats are basically considered the dachshunds of the munchkin breed, or the excuse me, the munchkins are considered the dachshunds of the cat breed. They're long, have tiny little paws and arms, don't have any legs. Yeah. Clearly I taught you guys nothing, so. Alright, let's finish out this class, I guess, since, you know, nobody wants to, uh, learn about drawing today. Not you, not you. You're fine, you're fine, you're fine. Okay. You go ahead and sit down. We're actually going to be making some origami today, everybody. Uh, never get a smile, do I? You guys are so ungrateful. If you guys would have been, been there back in my day. Yes, Adam, I am young, but, you know, a lot of you guys are a little bit younger. You guys are just joining school, so. 
I don't know what college any of you guys go to, but I've been around. I've already, like, professed at every single college around here. At least for, like, a week or so. Oh, yeah. You're probably wondering why, like, I twitch a little bit over here. Yeah, I have some muscle spasms, so please forgive me. I just noticed I was doing it, so. All right, class, let's pass out this paper. Here, pass that out. Go ahead, pass that out. Here's one for you. Just gently set it there on your desk and then pass that back there. And back there if you would. Thank you. Alright class, so I'm going to show you how to do two origamis today. Now, you may or may not have known this, but back when I was extremely famous for doing Very famous. All right, so I'm gonna prep um, the first origami that we're doing today. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a square, okay? And we're gonna do that by just folding the paper down at an angle like this. Okay. First angle should look like this. Okay. Now what I want you to do is take your spit, okay, or your tongue. You can do it this way. And we're gonna make. We want to make this crease here wet. So. No, no worries on paper cut of the tongue. That's why we want to have a wet tongue. And then just fold it again. Okay. Then we want to go back and fold the other side, which is the opposite, but not the different crease. So, flick it, fold, and let's start on the other side. So it should look like this. Nice little crease. And now we're just going to do the same exact thing for the other side, okay? The reason we want it to be damp, number one, is for easy tearing, and number two, I don't know, everything just like seems easier, okay? okay so just make sure that's even. came up with the whole tongue on the paper thing. You'll find out in time how known I actually am. I can't walk outside without being like, you know, looked at by like the police and stuff. People have no idea why. Okay. This is what it should look like, class. Alright, so last but not least, Fold this down the first way we did it, like this. All right, Adam, get off your phone, please. Adam, don't film the class, please. I can't be known. I'm too famous. Kind of like your um, poor career on Vine lasted. 
I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Alright, so we want to fold this down to where it meets the crease. Like this, so it should look like this, okay, class? All right, tongue. Opposite side. Tongue. Fold. Kind of looks like the first origami boat, which I created as well. I'm on a roll today. Okay. So, your final should look like this. So now that we've done that, we're going to fold it at the crease here. Make sure all the corners are evened out. Like this. Opposite side. We're just gonna finish this while we're here. I thought I was going to be prepping, but no worries. Dolly, pay attention, please. And get off your phones. I'm really trying to teach you something, like, really, really, really knowledgeable. Something that can help you in the future, 100%. What are you doing? I'm hurt. I'm hurt. Open it up, and then fold down one more time on the other side. Thank you for paying attention. It was really nice meeting you. You're not a cop, are you? Oh, I was just asking because being an artist is hard, and sometimes cops, you know, want to investigate to show, to like find out my validity and... You know, I have a lot of cops wanting to date me because I can make origami that could hurt a person very bad. And they want to know that technology, you know? And I want to be cooperative, it's just... I don't think right now is the best time to know a cop, so... Alright, so ultimately, everything should look like this. So what we're going to do now is we're going to fold in the corners. So like this kind of, see? So just go ahead and fill in all four of those corners very quickly. Yep, fold them in. Very good, Lewis. Okay, and then fold the last corner in. We're making something very, very, very special today, class. It's gonna be something that is very powerful. Um, something that I learned when I was very young. <laughs> I'm very excited to share, share it with you. All right, so once your paper looks like this, turn it around 
and then fold the corners in again, so. Okay. All right, we've got about 10 minutes of class left, everybody, so I want to get this serious knowledge to you. should look like this. And the last thing we're going to do is just fold all of that, so, like this. Then take it out, fold it again, open it up, fold it down, And then we're going to end it by doing this. Just put your fingers, two fingers, and this is what it should end up like, okay? Now, this right here is probably the future of your career. Yes, it could hurt and kill somebody, potentially class, but I came up with this technology a long time ago and I want to be very, very, you know, serious with all of you for a second. This is, I'm telling you, it's, it's your career. Like, your career's on the line right now, everybody. What I just gave you, what is just in your hands, you kind of messed it up, Adam. I'm kind of done with you. Don't ruin the surprise. I know you know what this is. It's my technology. Just shut up or leave. This right here is a fortune teller. This right here is going to save the lives of many people, and we are the only people who know it. Besides a couple million from just natural old technology, but please be very careful. I don't don't know, you know, what the future holds, but that's where you guys come in. I need you all to write your fortunes. Okay, so what we're going to do, I'm not writing on mine, I have a special use for mine. Write numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight numbers on each corner, one, two, three, four, open it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then inside, write a fortune on each of this. Okay, like, for example, you would open it up and there'd be a fortune here. And here. Here. And here. And here, and here, and here. Okay. And that's all I got. person and say, do you want to make 20 bucks? And they say yes. And then you ask them to ask it a question class and you open it and it says, psych, you owe me 20 bucks. And that's what happens. That is why this is a very powerful, this is a very powerful money maker and that is unfortunately what matters in life these days. Art sells, but so does money. So does manipulation, so does everything along those lines, so use it wisely, class. Use it wisely. I have a different use for this someday. And last but not least, you guys are out of paper, but I'm going to show you a quick little thing that you can have in your pocket for when you get these people's money. 
we're going to do the same exact thing that we did. the other side. I hope everybody's paying attention. This is really going to save us. See, now you're all listening because you know that you can make some bank off of this stuff. Very proud of all of you. No, I'm not very proud of all of you because the only time anybody ever listens is if they hear the word money and I'm getting tired of it. Even though I've been a rich girl, na 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 for a long time. I've been able to travel abroad, teach my art everywhere. I've been famous in many countries and many police precincts across the world. I've still been very poor. I still do a lot of the things I've done when I was that way. I wear the same clothes all the time. I don't wash my hair more than like two times a week. It's real life. What's wrong? I look familiar to you, don't I? Yeah. All right, now we're going to fold down. I think I know where Make sure you keep your mouth shut, okay? We're gonna fold down. Like this. Okay. Other side. And we're about to finish. Okay. Alright, so fold your paper in like this and then push down. So kind of like this. then fold it down into the triangle it becomes. Okay. Then fold the triangle up like this. Okay. And the last, well, second to last thing, lift these two up and fold them like this, and then fold in the paper like this to meet the corners. look like this. And then you fold up to meet the points. And then fold down once more. Okay. 
And there you have it. Do you know what this is? This is a frog. And with this, this is technology. Money. Reminder of life. Philosophy. This can always remind you that you can make money instantly. This will always remind you that there are animals out there, meaning that this is life. That life is more important. Learn to balance your money and your life. Thank you, class. Nope, nope, save the applause. I know you didn't start it, but save the applause. Uh, your checks are already written. Go ahead and pick them up on your way out. What's wrong, Judy? Yours didn't cash. Yours didn't cash. It's going to take another week for the other checks to cash, everybody. Just give it some time. I promise it'll help pay a nice portion of your tuition at the end. Okay. Take that philosophy that I gave you all today to realize money is not everything. Thank you so much for coming. Everybody's kind of rushing out the door. I really hope you learned something today. You did? What's that? You can't tell me. You'd like to bring some people to our next class? That'd be great, yeah. Sure. I hope I would like them very much, yes. It was very, very nice meeting you. You have a good day. Bye.